Hi! Welcome to Don's Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface and read sensor values from your light-dependent resistor, LDR or photoresistor, using your MicroPython device. This project might be simple, but we will use this as a reference for a future Internet of Things project. So, what really is an LDR or a, a photo resistor? If you need to detect the presence or absence of light, then use an LDR or a photo resistor in your IoT project. The intensity of light causes the resistance of the LDR to vary from 0 to mega ohms in value. The output of an LDR or a photoresistor is an analog signal. And for a microcontroller to understand its value, then an analog to digital converter or ADC is needed. The majority of the popular microcontrollers have pins that have built-in ADC, so reading this component does not need to be com complicated. I am using a Raspberry Pi Pico W device in this project, but the logic here is applicable to other microcontroller device such as the ESP32 or ESP8266 microcontroller device. The image below shows our Raspberry Pi Pico W pinout. The ADC 0 here up to the ADC2 pins here, namely the GP26 up to the GP28, it's available to be used as our analog to digital converter input pins. So, this image will show you how you can connect your LDR or your photoresistor with your MicroPython device. As you can see, we are creating a voltage divider circuit with the LDR and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. We then connect our input pin, which in this case is our GP27, to the connection between the LDR and the resistor. Now let's go to the demo of this project. The simplest way to read an LDR or a photoresistor using MicroPython device is shown here. The read underscore 16 function of the ADC class or the analog to digital class will return a value between 0 to 65535. Values from 0 means that there is an ample supply of light and those close to 65,535 means the absence of it. To run this project, you can just upload these two files into the, your MicroPython device and then execute the, the Python file by following this command. So in our case here, I'm going to execute. As you can see, this is the value that we have right now for the LDR. If I try to put my hand in here, then you would see that the values are now going up, up to the 55,000 values. Let's try. So, as you can see, the moment that I remove my hand, then the values of the LDR changes accordingly. So, this is the simplest way on how you can read your LDR sensor with your MicroPython device. So, the, this code is enough if you just want to read the values of an LDR. But if you wanted to make it modular, then using a Python class is much more helpful. So, this is a sample code of how I represented my LDR object, object as a Python class. So, as you can see in here, what I did is just import the necessary packages for us to communicate with our LDR pin. And then, we create an instance, a class of named LDR, and then we pass in the pin as an input. And then, we declare two functions in here, the get row value and the get light percentage. The get row value is similar to the basic code above, while the get light percentage computes the light percentage by dividing the row value from the maximum amount, which is 65, 5535, and then we multiply it by 100. So in this case, when we call this function, then we'll get a value from 0% to 100%.
In this case in here, we just declare an object of LDR and then we pass in the GPI open 27. And then in an infinite infinite loop, we just call the method which is get light percentage. Let's try running this one. So we just execute this code, then we click enter. So right now the percentage of light is at 38.58%. Let's try putting my hand in this LDR. As you can see, the values have now reached the 85%. Let's try more so as you can see the values is now reaching the 86 percent value if i try to remove my hand then the values changes back to the original one which is around the 38 to 40 percent value so basically that is how easy it is to read your ldr or photoresistor with your micro python device in future project we will use this the same project so watch out for it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring! Hi! For me to continue creating useful content, please share, like, or comment on every video that I have created. Or better yet, Subscribe to my page and click the notification button for you to receive the latest updates from me. But if you are generous enough, then you could support me by buying me a copy or through my patreon.com account. This would get me more motivated to create useful video content with a code and excellent write-up. Thank you!